All right, welcome back. Um, before the break, we're talking about awards in Nigeria. I have here with me Osagi Alonge of uh, Pulse. And um, I, like, I was talking about categories now. And Sound City as well, I mean, with Sound City with the Headies, I think the Headies has quite a number of categories. Yeah. But what I always find confusing, first of all, is the fact that, I mean, why, why don't we have a limited number that in every category? Sometimes you find eight, yeah. then you find four, then you find nine, then there's six. Do you find that funny? Then also, do, you, do, you, do we have enough genres represented in these awards so far? Because it looks like there's a huge uh, tilt towards the pop and Afro beats and all of those. Gospel, for example, which is one of the biggest genres in this country, almost never, actually, both, both awards doesn't, doesn't recognize them. Yeah. Do we have enough? Do, are we doing enough with the awards yet? Well, I think we can do more in terms of um, having, I mean, just streamlining the number of, yeah. you know, categories, I mean, um, nominations we have in each category. Like, this head is, we had, the last head is rather, we had eight nominees in a category, then you yeah. had like four in another category, then five in another category. I Very inconsistent. Is, yeah, yeah and you could say, you know, that the, you could blame the credibility of the um, judges or the organizers putting this together. Then you could also say there's not enough material just to put out there. So while you have eight somewhere, lumped up in somewhere, and the other places you're meant to have five, you only have four, it's because they looked and searched and they couldn't find anything to put in those categories. So things like that do happen. Yeah. Um, as per not including you know, genres like gospel you know, and other genres, you could say, the organizers say, this is our mandate, this is what we want to celebrate. You, know, you can't question what they want to celebrate. I know the Grammys has a category for... You know, <laughs> best live album, best you know best audio engineer. Spoken album. <laughs> yeah, what what yeah. Uh, spoken album or yeah. best engineered album or stuff like that. Um, it is what the organizers define as what they want to celebrate, yeah. and we can't question that. But the thing is, we don't know what they want to celebrate. So most times, we want these guys to be very transparent. You know, put up put it up on your website. Let's know what you stand for. You know, the Grammys has a recording academy, right? What these guys do is they just curate the music that has been released. And when they nominate people, they don't need to call for entries because they have all the songs. They know who mixed and mastered the song. They know who produced it. They know how many people you know, added additional production to the songs. And so when they nominate, they nominate everybody. We, don't, we haven't reached that level in yeah. Nigeria yet, so we still call for nominations. We yeah. shouldn't be calling for nominations. You know, record labels should submit this information to a recording academy, which should exist, and they just curate the information into the system. And the, and the awards organization yeah. then goes there. And Simple. Great stuff. Were there, were there people who won awards that you were? Mm. Yeah. With these um, two awards in particular, the I mean, S SM, I, I, sounds of the MVPs and I, the headies. At the head is, I wonder why, you know, Shady won um, best... Best male vocalist? Yeah, really? best male, okay. male vocal, performance vocal performance for yeah. Smile over Darius Pray For Me. Okay. And Darius Pray For Me ended up winning two other awards. Like, it didn't make any sense. Shady is a fantastic singer and vocalist and a very good writer. But on Smile, Smile is one of the easiest songs. He just, you can sing Smile. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 you know, it's an easy go song that everybody can sing along to. There was no vocal performance, true vocal performance on the song, so I wonder why he won it over um, okay. uh, um, Dari. Then I wonder why Tiwa Savage's Red was not nominated at all, you know, even though he, he, he fell in the window. The window, yeah. yeah. Who, was, so who was nominated that you think shouldn't have been there? I mean, um, Wan Nicole's Wanted album was there. I don't, I don't see why it should be there. It wasn't a great album. Um, Wan Nicole's a great artist, but it wasn't a great album. I think he goofed on the album. He shouldn't have been there. Who else? Um, yeah, okay. Ill Bliss is um, best. Um, is it best? You're yeah, a lyricist on the role. Who won with lyricist on the role? I think it was Ill Bliss for yeah. um, Chico. So that song should have won best rap single over Olamide's Ayomi Weather. Then shouldn't have won best, best lyricist, lyricist on the role because really. it wasn't a lyrical song. Ill Bliss has lyrical songs. But that wasn't a lyrical song. But I was glad you won best rap album because that was the best rap album. What are you looking forward to this year? Um, industry. Just a lot of structure, a lot of data, you know, let's be able to track, you know, how many songs were released, how many songs were downloaded, you know, let's be able to see this data so we can create charts, we can, you know, predict for the future, we can be able to say this song is going to do well in the next six months based on the, you know, the information we have already. Yeah. So we need a charting system, you know, shout out to LD and what he's doing with yeah, play data, very good stuff. you know. Play data has really helped us as journalists to yeah. put stuff together and see, oh, Father Father was definitely the biggest song of 2016. And we can, you know, be able to predict like that. So yeah. we focus a lot on play data, but we need something that, you know, still en 
encapsulates the whole of Nigeria. And yeah. if I dare say, West Africa and then Africa. So we need that to set up. We need record labels to start thinking like record labels and not laptop labels. It's more than just creating, you know, a Twitter handle <laughs> and, and, and an Instagram handle, guys. Please, structure a label. Have an A&R. Have managers who are more interested, you know, in the well-being of the artist than on being on the red carpet and taking pictures. <laughs> you know, managers can be more popular than their artists. Try and wow. stay in the background, okay? <laughs> I don't, you know, some people's, some managers' relationships are more, are more bigger than the news about their relationship with their whatever, bigger, bigger than, than the artists. artists. Come like. on, guys. So I want to see labels, you know, be more structured, well-structured, yeah. and focus on pushing the artists first. Before we go now, three artists to watch this year. Definitely Files. Files is going to Still, prob possibly drop. Is it's possibly going to drop another album, the third album. Um, I think he's raised the bar so high, and he's going to break it again. I'm looking forward to Files. I'm looking forward to See Me. She's possibly going to drop her debut album this year. A lot of buzz around her. Who's the third artist I'm looking forward to? I want to say I'm looking forward to Maven Records as a whole. Um, Ricardo Banks dropped his album last year. Um, Corey DeBello should drop an album this year. Dr. C possibly, you know, I'm looking forward to them or a group album. And it's been 10 years since Mohit dropped the CV album. You guys should do a reunion and do another on CV too. Do you think that's going to happen? See, if someone puts the right money together, <laughs> you can bring one they call the band back, yeah. you know, and they have a Mohit reunion tour. Yeah, because I mean, I, tweet, I tweeted a couple of songs from 2007 yeah. and... Um, um, Booty Call was one of the songs. Yeah. And Don Jazzy actually retweeted and, you know, wrote classic. I was like, hmm, <laughs> should I tell you maybe that we need another, another one of these? You but know, I don't know what the relationship is now. Do you think that's, that's feasible, really? It's, it's going to take a lot of money. There's it? nothing money doesn't bring together. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you very much, Osage. Looking forward to 2017. Looking forward to this. Make sure you catch his show. Facts it's online. Only, guys. Facts only. He, he, he's, quite, he's more brutal than he is here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a nice nice. I'm a nice <laughs> He's guy. I'm a nice guy. to be nice. Thanks for being here today. Thank you very and much. Have a great year ahead. Thank you very much, you too. We'll take a quick break now. I'll be right back. Please do not go anywhere.